Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tisha Marie. So as you can see, we are straight up bare faced today. Um, I'm just moisturized and my eyebrows are done. And that is because we are gonna be doing a review and wear test of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Um, I am in the color 530N. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm already moisturized. I'm gonna start with my primer and then we'll get into this, the wear test, and then my final review. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna try not to talk you guys to death because I don't want this video to be super long. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in with my primer. And this one is the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm just gonna pump a little bit on my fingers. And just go ahead and smooth it all over my face. So um, what I like about this primer, even though this obviously is not a review of the primer, um, what I like about this one is that it gets really tacky. So it really holds on to all of your makeup. All right, so that's that for the primer. I'm gonna go ahead and color correct the darkness around my mouth. And for that, I am going to be using just this little cheap LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. So I'll go ahead and do that. Ooh. I don't like to use too much of this because it's easy to just like really overdo it with color corrector and that is not what I'm trying to do today. So if any of you guys have um, picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills new foundation and you've already tried it out, um, what do you guys think about it so far? Like, also, if you have and you leave a comment below, let me know what type of skin you have because sometimes that can, well, not just sometimes, but most times, that really affects how the foundation wears. I look crazy with this color corrector on, and I don't usually do this, but um, I noticed once when I was taking photos and recording that this area right here looked kind of grayish, and I know that's because I have some darkness right around here and most brown girls do it's nothing new so I'm just shaking up this foundation so we can go ahead and get into it so it does come in a pump I'm come in a pump it comes with a pump um how many fluid ounces are in this one fluid ounce so standard foundation so I'm just going to go ahead and pump it right onto my face and I'm going to Start with just one side so you guys can see how it looks as far as like the color. So comparing this side to that side, I've already wet my Fenty sponge. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start blending. Now, one thing that I did notice when I first um, wore this foundation, which was yesterday, is that when you start to blend it out, and once it's all blended in, in my opinion, it takes a little while to dry down. Like, do you see how wet it looks on my skin? Most of my foundations, or at least most of the ones that I use, I don't experience that wetness. Now, it could be because this one is a luminous foundation. I don't know. And it's not exactly supposed to be matte. 
but you can see how it looks a little bit wet. And then I'm gonna kind of take it onto my ear and under here. Okay, so that's how we're looking with just foundation on one side compared to bare skin on this side. And y'all are gonna have to excuse my hair because I'm actually taking this down today. Like I've had enough of it. It's old, it's tired, she tired, she ready to come on out. So let's go ahead and pump more onto this side. So we have a full face. And when I do this, you guys, I'm not doing full pumps. I'm just like squirting just a little bit because I don't like to use a ton of foundation. So let's go ahead and blend away on this side. Ooh, look at my forehead. It is large and in charge right now. Okay. So, this is how we are looking with just the foundation one. I have no powder on, no concealer, just foundation and brows. So, like I said, you can see that um, it looks very, it looks very hydrating, very moist. Um, I never take foundation down my neck, but I can tell you that when I squirted a little, that sounds so foul but when I pumped a little bit of foundation here just to make sure it was the right color it did match my chest so I think it may just be looking a little bit off because it's so wet on my face right now so um, I'm just gonna try to let that dry down a little bit and I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop no filter concealer and just do a little bit of concealing or not concealing, but highlighting. I did go ahead and um, put on my concealer for the highlight and contoured a bit on the sides of my nose. And um, this is how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and Put on my Laura Mercier powder, and then we'll see how we're looking after that. Okay, so I went ahead, I applied my highlight, my concealer, and I um, put on some powder, and this is how we're looking. So as you guys can see, the foundation has dried down quite a bit. Now what I can tell you is that I did put on um, a little bit more setting powder than I usually do just because this foundation is so, so dewy. And on top of that, I have combination oily skin. So after about maybe two hours of wear of pretty much any foundation, my skin starts to get extremely oily, like right around my nose and here, um, like right above my upper lip and I just don't want that to happen because when I did my wear test yesterday That's pretty much what happened. It did hold up Everywhere else on my face, but my nose was just super duper duper shiny and It just it's not a good look like nobody wants to look really oily All right guys, so um, it's been almost a full day that I've had this Anastasia Luminous foundation on as you can see I have taken out my passion twist. I have not washed my hair yet, but um I Ran quite a few errands today. I've been all over the place um, It's not super hot out, but it's like mm, Probably about 85 degrees outside But I did all that um, And now I'm just at home relaxing. It's about it's 630 now um and this foundation looks really good. As you can see, um, it still has that nice, well, I can't say it still has, because remember I told you I put the powder, the setting powder on, but it does have that nice dewiness to it. Um, and it just looks like nice glowing skin. So 
you guys can hear my son in the back but yeah i mean i don't look super oily or anything it it's pretty good the only place that's really oily i would say is my nose and even right now you can't really tell too much but um yeah it's looking really good so that's pretty much it oily so yeah i did get um i was able to not exactly mattify the foundation but just calm down that shininess um oh just a little bit it does still have that luminosity so as you can see when i turn my head it still has some of the luminosity to it um like i said i did apply some bronzer so i could bring some warmth back to my face but overall, I do really like the way that the Anastasia foundation looks. Um, I feel like the color was pretty much a perfect match for me. Um, when I went to my Ulta, actually I had to visit two different Ultas. The first one I went to, the demographic in that area is not so colorful to say the least. So I went to the one um, that's a little bit closer to my house and they did have the deeper shades the first one did not they only went up to i believe the tan shades so i had to go to the one near me to find the deeper shades um one of them i want to say the one that was darker than this one they only had one darker than this one at my store so if you need something darker i would recommend looking online but the one darker than this one i can't remember the number it was slightly too dark and it was very very red so I'm like, that is just not going to work for me because I cannot walk around looking like an Oompa Loompa. So yeah, that, that just didn't work. This one, I guess the N stands for neutral. Um, I don't believe I have neutral undertones. I believe I'm a little bit more golden. But I mean, this worked for me. So I wouldn't necessarily go by what they're saying the undertones are. That's just my opinion. I would definitely say to go into the store and test it out like do some swatch tests some testes whoa do some swatch tests to see what your color is going to be because you might not necessarily be able to see what it's going to be online i don't know but yeah overall i think this is a really great foundation it is worth the money um, this is the first foundation that i've tried from anastasia i've never tried their foundation stick so, um, for my first time trying the foundation, I would say, yes, go ahead and recommend it. Also, for reference, I am in the shade 430 um, in the Fenty foundation. So, if you're kind of looking for, like, what color foundation I usually wear, that's it. Um, if you guys have tried the Anastasia foundation, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Like, do you like it or do you hate it? Did you have a hard time trying to find it in your store? Or if you just have any questions in general about this foundation, then go ahead and also let me know in the comments. As usual, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and just thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.